What's up? And welcome to another video. My name is Stephen Foster, and um, if I sound a little quiet, uh, it's early morning. I want to get a video out uh, tomorrow. I've been trying to upload again every week, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that came up um, that I had to course correct and adjust for in order to um, get back to the weekly schedule. But um, some of you guys know, hopefully all of you know, you're following me on Instagram. Um, I'll link that below in case you're not and you want to rectify that situation. Um, my wife and I were on a massive road trip, seven states. Uh, we hit the Columbia Valley Gorge. We did the Oregon coast, came down through wine country in California in the Central Valley area, um, and then spent some time in Laguna Beach, San Diego, and then routed our way back through Vegas, Utah, Montana, and then uh, back here to the PNW. Do you ever get home from like a really long journey, like just a long trip, and then like your life is just nothing, nothing but chaos, like just, I'm like stepping over stuff, like my whole office is just shredded. It's just, there's junk everywhere. Basically like my four bags that we had just exploded into this room. I've been in this office now for about nine months. Uh, moved in here uh, towards the end of last year, uh, so maybe a little less than that, but I'm kind of at this point where it's like, okay, uh, you guys know this whole setup right here with the bookcase and me sitting at the desk and the light and kind of this window that acts sort of as like a accent key almost, but I kind of want to change it up. I'm thinking uh, maybe move the desk right up against the window, which normally I wouldn't like, but I think if I can move this light over into this far corner here, that'll kind of help light this room better and just make it like an overall better use of space. I kind of only come in here just to sit at the desk and I sort of want to have a place where I could drop a air mattress in here if someone's going to come visit, which we have a couple guests that will be appearing on this channel, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, move, move the light over there, the desk up there to just get some floor space room here. Um, I kind of am bummed about losing the bookcase as my background. I think I'm gonna still keep. I think I'm gonna still keep the walnut uh, dresser that I have here um, as the backdrop. But it'll be kind of nice. I should get a little more depth and uh, I don't know, hopefully make some more shooting possibilities, uh, more interesting angles in here. Because right now I kind of only have this one. I've tried shooting like this next to the bookcase, and that didn't really quite work out. So. I'm trying to explore, I'm trying to experiment with this whole thing because uh, it's new, you know, it's different and I'm trying to just, I'm just trying to, to do different things, you know, I think that's really important when you're trying to be creative, um, you know, oh, this camera's starting to get heavy. So, um, let's see here, we're gonna try, yeah, we're gonna try to, uh, no, we're not gonna try. I'm gonna clean this office up, that's my goal today. Get this whole thing rearranged, and then bring it all back together, and uh, I don't know, maybe shoot a video? Sounds good, let's do it. All right, so a bit of an update. Um, actually, let me zoom out and just show you guys what, what I've been up to. Um, Still cleaning, but desk is over here by the window. The 120D blocking the bookcase a little bit, but I think if I shoot maybe from a clamp mount that I can put on the monitor display, um, I'm already kind of trying out some angles, and I think I think that might actually make it uh, make it get what I want here. I'll show you guys what I think the new angle will be. This especially when that door is closed, when I'm recording normally for like most videos, this is much wider scene, a lot more depth in the back there. I think I'm gonna start doing some prints back there maybe. Um, someone's running a table saw outside in the neighborhood, so you probably can hear that. Uh, yeah, this would be the straight on shot here on the desk, um, which I do like a lot. I won't be mixing light with that door closed. Um, and then if I do a mounted shot right here on that pole that's holding the monitor, I actually really like this angle as well. Maybe if I actually, 
I don't have my um, I don't have my accent lights ready yet, but um, I think getting a little more light to fill out this side and then having sort of the window here kind of to softly set the scene, uh, aperture keying me. Um, I think there's a lot of potential here, a lot of options, a lot of opportunity. So um, need to finish cleaning, setting up, plugging everything in, but uh, we'll, we'll just go to me having figured all this out. That's the best, right? All right, so I think this is it. I think this is gonna be the new kind of look, layout, um, kind of been added in here, moving stuff around, cable managing. Um, I'll have to give you guys a sort of a, a final look once I finish everything up, the day's kind of wrapping up. I kind of want to finish talking about uh, one of the challenges that sort of I've kind of come up against here on YouTube in the last few months that has slowed down my upload schedule and I feel like I'm, I'm finally cracking it and able to move forward, but it's kind of weird. I uh, as a lot of you guys know, I've used Final Cut in the past. I was transitioning over to Premiere uh, using my uh, NZXT Creator PC, thinking that that would speed up my workflow. And it actually ended up slowing down my workflow significantly. In fact, like in the last three months, I think, uh, yeah, I didn't even upload anything in April, partially because I wanted to take some time to learn and make sure that I was up to speed on Premiere. But once I had actually started making videos and trying to do the import process and creating proxies and doing all the things that I needed to do to actually make a video, it just slowed me down so much that I was kind of losing, I was losing that quick iterative process where I was able to sort of come up with an idea, make a video, uh, sometimes two videos in a week and get them up and out and uploaded. So finally, last week I just said, screw it. I'm going back over to Final Cut on my MacBook Pro. Um, it's weirdly a little bit faster uh, than trying to run it on my big PC, which has an NVIDIA 2080 Ti. It's got a Core i9 processor. My MacBook has a much smaller i7 processor with integrated graphics. So I don't know how that's working. Uh, it could be that the uh, PCI, you know, but I have PCI storage, SSD storage on both of them. So I, I don't know. It's, I'll probably do a more comprehensive test later, but safe to say that's kind of what's been going on for the last uh, little bit. But we're we're back to full weekly uploads. Uh, I, I did want to mention this. Part of the reason why I was excited to go over to Premiere uh, was I I do like the out of the box color correction tools and just the sort of uh, the way it all came together really made a lot of sense for me. Since coming back over to Final Cut, I've had to uh, make some adjustments and just kind of try to just use Final Cut's system. I'm not using any plugins right now to color grade. I may in the future. I think another big challenge that happened was C-Log3 got released for the R5. So I, of course, updated uh, the camera and I've been shooting in C-Log now for the last couple of videos, I think. And that's been great, but those files are just massive and, and punish any computer that that you try to edit them on, even my beast of a PC from only a year ago, which is wild. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but uh, <laughs> in the meantime, I think I gotta flow down again, uh, editing again, uploading again. Uh, really excited to have some, uh, some guests who are gonna be coming on uh, this channel and talking about photography, videography, maybe a little bit of tech stuff. Uh, kind of like what we do. Uh, we're gonna be going out, um, scheduling stuff with a couple national parks. Uh, that's been really exciting to start planning out, and figuring out. So yeah, it's gonna be a good summer. Comment down below if you got summer travel plans. I'd like to know where you're going, uh, what you're interested in shooting or just experiencing. Do you maybe just wanna chill on a beach, not really be bothered for a little bit? Uh, you know, leave a comment down below, let me know. Please be kind, both in life and in the comments below. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to this channel. You guys are amazing. I love uploading on this platform because of all of you, thank you. And we will do it again soon. Once a week, at least. Fridays, usually Friday morning I'm uploading, so plan on that, but sometimes also Monday, we'll see. Keep you posted. Whew.